Tonight, your champions, Heather and Miles, with a record of 43-0, take on a brand new challengers, The Swarm. Are you ready? I'm ready! I'm ready. I'm ready! I'm ready! I am ready! We're ready! Tonight, in another round of cage match, your champions, Heather and Miles, with a record of 40 wins attempt to tie the all-time record at 44 wins but tonight they face the legendary team the swarm they are here to fight and see if they can take that championship from heather and miles well let's check with the audience to see who their favorite is tonight this one's gonna be big cage match is bigger than cheers in the 90s they are both absolutely amazing totally open to either team right now. it's gonna be heather and miles absolutely heather and miles heather and miles all the way i love heather and miles i love them i love them i love them there's no chance the swarm is gonna win the swarm easily i'm really excited to see the swarm the swarm will like guys i don't know make it all work at the end you're like this is beautiful this competition to the underdog even though they were the overdog in any other competition they've ever been in. No, it's going to be close, it's going to be exciting, it's going to be hilarious. And I think this is going to be a showdown for the ages! Let the cage match begin in tonight's competition. Your champions, Heather and Miles, will be going first, followed by the challengers, The Swarm. Now, let's see some show highlights and see who won the show tonight. <laughs> History with Santa. <laughs> <laughs> come here, come here. I'm You're not even a man. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a beard. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say that it's weird for you to walk around and port arms all the time? <laughs> <laughs> One day is coming over the horizon. You gotta be prepared at every moment. I Every see Red moment. Dawn 117 times. <laughs> the, the old one, one or the new one? Day. <laughs> see the new one yet? Day's a new one? Better <laughs> <laughs> run me. Look at you, I can't tell any one of you apart. You're all the same to me. Oh, stop staring at me for your dead eyes. They're <laughs> all lemmings. Finally. <laughs> oh, I see I'm already here. Yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck wears rings anyway? <laughs> <laughs> zoom in on the ring, <laughs> zoom back out, and we're in an Italian cafe. <laughs> you can't make this kid. This kid is a loudmouth. He's gonna get shot in the first week, I'm telling you. He'll fucking get shot in the head, Louis. He'll get shot in the head. I understand all that. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you Italian? Are you a Italian? Ah, I'm Italian! I'm as Italian as a Italian man can be! You're a kind of Italian! What? You're a kind of Italian! I'm kind of retarded? You're a kind of I was wandering the aisles thinking, wonder where all the good shirts gone to. And then they ask me, and I say, the lazy good for nothing ain't replaced them yet. <laughs> so that's usually when I come back here. <laughs> that's you. I understand. You're the lazy good for nothing. That's I, who I resent being called a lazy good for nothing by someone who's so clearly southern. <laughs> returning next week. <laughs> Time the record and still your champion! <laughs> Heather and Miles pull off the all-time record tie with 44 wins. How do they reach 44? Let's get some improv analysis from the Tim Russell of Improv, Johnny in the Improv Locker Room. Thanks, Harrison. What we hear is a classic three-on-two legendary showdown. We have our champions, Heather and Miles, coming up first, and they got a suggestion of beer. But she was in the first scene where we saw a little kid who has a bad history of getting raped by Santas and ends up being taken over by a pussy alien. 
Uh, then we saw a business meeting full of clones. We saw a Scottish Italian guy in front of the Tower of Pisa, and a guy was trying to climb it to get to some boobies. Uh, we met Jimmy Delaney, the guy who isn't sure if he wants to fuck a lesbian or not. And they ended all with a pussy chest alien infestation of a GameStop into a time dash pussy, pussy chest alien second beat with a lesbian wife callback. It was a great separate champions, and then we had our challengers, the Swarm, going up second. They got the suggestion of Caliber, which they used in the first scene, which was two guys that were arguing about love at a gun range. Then we met the overbearing grandpa that owns a gun range and Cletus the t-shirt guy who always fucks up. We saw a vague breakup over fondue. We saw a gun range love talk second beat. We saw an Olympic committee uh, reading dumb letters scene. We saw an Italian mob luncheon discussion about Neanderthals versus Homo sapiens. We saw an ice cream truck in Brighton Beach that sells Mad Dog 2020, which is a hobo wine. Uh, we saw a gun range third beat into a grandpa and Cletus second beat. And they ended all with an all Cletus farm third beat. They did a Herald and a Cage Man. What happened in the end? Heather and Miles remain your champions. Tie the all-time record, and you'll see them next week at an undisclosed time and an undisclosed location. No, wait. Right here at the used to be LA cage match. For used to be LA cage match, I'm Johnny Schwarzbein reminding you that anything can happen in a cage match. Thanks, Johnny. Heather and Miles have tied the all-time record at cage match with 44 wins. The team that held that record, Convoy. Convoy will return next week to face Heather and Miles in the ultimate cage match showdown to see who walks away as champions one more week. Be sure you make your reservations, get in the standby line, and until next week, keep on rocking.